Ah, uh, Nintendo. Very interesting company. That one. You know, honestly, I'm kind of um, surprised that, um, you know, people are um, finally realizing how great Nintendo actually is. But I mean, hey, better than ever, right? Now, you must probably be wondering, oh, so is it going to be like just a video talking about like Nintendo and, uh, you know, Switch here or some shit? Well, it's that before. This is uh, not really the first time they've done something like this. I mean, it's hard to say. It's cool that um, you know, I finally realized this, but there's a lot of like other like um, things Nintendo have done that are just as bad, just as egregious. You just didn't really, you know, know at the time. Now, first thing we're talking about. I mean, basically, um, actually. Let me just um, say this. Um, I'm basically talking about like um, three um, things about the company's history specifically. They're not gonna be anything about like the 1800s or anything like that, because I don't know um, what the story for like, uh, like a Nintendo in, in that time was. I think we're talking about the times that they kind of just um, you know started making video games basically. Uh, one of the first for these, well, I mean, you know, Hong Kong. You know Hong Kong, right? Hong Kong's cool. At least Hong Kong country, anyway. I think that's just, I think that's pretty cool. But um, you know, mostly going to be talking about um the original Hong Kong here. You know. So yeah, uh, what do I mean by this? Because I mean, there's really anything wrong with the game itself. Hong Kong, I mean, it's a perfectly fine arcade game for its time. I was like the best nowadays, but still pretty good. But, um, you know, um... If you didn't know, there's actually some, um, interesting, like, history towards it. Now, all of this is basically going to be, like, kind of, like, um, an excerpt from the video that I got from um, Thomas G. Docs. Actually, most of these are going to be based just on um, regurgitations of um, all Nintendo videos I have watched about the kind of, um, you know, about the subject, you know, about certain like um, things they kind of have done. What was the comedy, the comedy history, you know? They're very interesting, so maybe after this video, we could just, um, I don't know, check it out. Yeah, I mean, Tom G. Docs is um, a pretty cool creator, but yeah, um, yeah, rights. Uh, Dr. Kong, rights. Um, this is company called, like, I think, um, Ikigami Tsushinki. I remember that was your dog's video anyway. That, um, he used to do, um, programming, you know, for, like, um, arcade games. I think back in the 70s and 80s, maybe? I actually don't know. I probably don't really do that shit, that shit anymore, though. This is more so just, um, like, a, um, um, medical comedy, I think? I don't know, something like that. But, um... Basically, they um, used to kind of do some more fucking things. And they, um, helped out Nintendo. With, um... You know... Some, some uh, you know, the arcade games and stuff. And, uh, Donald Kong just has to be one of them. And, you know, it's pretty cool. You know? Kind of makes sense that Nintendo kind of sent you know, all sorts of kind of stuff to, um... Other people. I mean... You know, kind of got the game games a bit faster, you know, maybe. Well, you see, there's also another thing, too. Um, that would be fine if it was the case, but um, they also kind of um, done like a lot of like um, things that were um, well, pretty interesting to say at least when it came to that. Uh, first of all, um, you know, you probably know that uh, Lion Kong is a uh, very popular. Um, game, you know, it's been like that for um, quite a long while, you know, so movies, you know, pop culture, you know, stuff, you know, I've seen Hong Kong as well, I mean, so I mean, you know, this kind of makes sense, but, now, yes, that was very popular, so I probably would expect that um, Nintendo would um, try to um, cash in as much as they fucking can by, um, you know, Make like uh, more keyboards. I mean, there was um, 
quite a bit of a demand for those, you know, especially in the US, I guess. And they're kind of going to be able to keep up with it, so... You know, the kind of base is just, um... The fact that they kind of had to basically just, um... You know, ask, like, Ingami Tsushinki for, um, you know, help on those as well, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, that's fun and all, that's cool and all. But, um... And they don't need those fucking things faster, so... You know, any motherfucker just did. I just made the arcade boards themselves. Just I think they kind of just um, reverse engineer like the code or something, and it just made the arcade boards and just basically like made like kind of like a much faster. And I guess you could say, well, that's kind of scummy, but that's fine, right? I mean, they kind of just um, you know needed to kind of do this so they'd be able to um, you know develop the demand, right? Well, I mean, yes. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then they kind of just um, end up use like um, the same code uh, as um, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong used for, um, you know, Donkey Kong Jr. And uh, I think at that point, you know, if I'm mistaken, according to the video anyway, I think Amsa Shingo was really happy with it, so they, um, well, they sued Nintendo for like 10,000 yen, if I'm oh, sorry, uh, a million? Uh, 10 million? I don't fucking know. It's like a very high amount of money. You know? But I wouldn't make sense as to why. I mean, you probably would expect they were uh, pretty pissed at uh, what happened. So, yes, yes. Things happen. And they were not pretty. And uh, you could probably say that's uh, one of the first things that happened. I was in town, like, being like, uh, you know, a bit of a great person company whatever but um it's actually um you know um uh, so that might be a bit weird, a bit hard kind of say this you know to all the people who uh, grew up with NES but yes Nintendo was um, also like that on that time too like hard to believe but trust me okay it's good. there's a lot of more fucking things about that kind of did on the 80s that were just as egregious in fact that's actually kind of the main fucking thing that I want to actually say too like, you know, because it's fine for me to kind of just um, talk about, um, you know, Nintendo and all that. You know, like, an, like no, uh, early parts of Nintendo's history. But this is the, the motherfucker, like, thing that kind of just want to talk about the most. Because, again, that's when, like, uh, you know, they were, like, truly... So, you know, it's truly, like, um, it's really, like, like um, you know... It's when they ended up, like, truly, like, being wee. You know, or it's like no, as a very Greek company, you know, during that time. It's funny too, because Syria, um, well, you know, the 80s, right? That's when like Nintendo started just being, making the NES, being like um, well known in the game industry, just overall. I mean, they revitalized the game industry, in fact. So it would be a game industry for them. But. Yeah, there's um, a lot of uh, greenness going on. Uh, first of all, um, there's this like uh, there's, like one deal for um, developers and stuff that they had to um, you know a deal to. What is the use you ask? Well, I mean, you know, uh, you know, like. Make like uh, games like uh, like uh, for um two years, you know, being like basically tethered to the Nintendo Entertainment System for two years. Like you're gonna fuck the, you're gonna essentially like kind uh, like, uh, make like uh, any games for the Sega Master System or the Atari seven eight hundred if you wanted or anything like that. You had to make a Nintendo Entertainment System. They basically made it so that like uh, the only option you had was an Nintendo Entertainment System, which is. Why that console kind of got so many games as it did, and there's also um, another thing too in that like um, companies couldn't exactly like um, such like um, release like kind of like, uh, games, you know, like repeatedly, uh, you know, like kind of like um, around a year and stuff. They kind of had to just essentially like um, release uh, only like a few games at a few times, like few times a year basically. 
There are some companies that try to kind of just um, circumvent through that, to release more games, but it was uh, definitely very strict. Yeah. They're very strict, and um, a lot of developers really, um, you know, are really um, particularly like, um, very, um, you know, happy about this, you know? Which um, I do think is um, very interesting, yeah? You know? Now, um, yes, you yeah. know. Am I uh, not seeing like anything like, they would, um, you know, particularly affect a lot of um, things here? But I mean, let's be real here. You'll be getting so much less games because of this offer, you know? It would just not be good for both, uh, you know, people who are playing the NES in that point, and for, um, you know, the people who are um, just. You know, trying to make games and thing. And, you know, there's also the whole, like, Nintendo Seal of Quality thing. Though I think for that one, a bit more fine. I mean, after the whole, like, uh, fiasco with, um, the game, the game, the crash, you know, on I 3 and stuff, it really needed, like, some quality control. And I feel like, uh, the Seal of Nintendo Seal of Approval did, um, a fairly good job on that, you know? Yeah, it's not exactly too particularly um, opposed to that, but... Yeah, I mean, you know. And that is not really, like, kind of the, kind of the only thing that was happening, like, um... Alright. You can tell there was some, some, some things that were going on that, uh... weren't really very good, you know? I do approval stuff was great, but it was, like... Actually, probably one of the very few things that kind of just, um, you know, Habit Ash were like, uh, you know, truly good for the game industry, in my opinion. At least for some of the fucking things that Nintendo has done. There's also, um, you know, the fact that um, they were like very much like kind of constantly grilled by like authorities to, um, because of like, you know, antitrust violations and stuff. Uh, this one I'm taking like kind of straight for like game the story, by the way, you know. And there's a video like Atari, like, um, I think Tengen versus Nintendo, you know, Atari games versus Nintendo. And it's basically a lawsuit between them, you know, like, you know, Nintendo and Atari, because, um, they kind of just thought, like, Nintendo was, um, being a bit too arrogant and greedy, and, um, they did not know, um, you know, that, uh, this one's actually particularly like, a very cool thing to really do. And they'll be right, but, well, it's not like they'll really win the lawsuit, but thankfully after that, you know, um, the authorities kind of like, did kind of just went, hmm, maybe they might have been right about this, maybe Nintendo is uh, kind of doing some shit right now? Let's see if we can do something about this, you know? I think that even if FTC got involved, so you can tell the kind of, the kind of things are like very serious around that time. That's when Nintendo was just like, okay, well, you know what? Let's just uh, give like less restrictions to um, you know, our consumers and uh, you know, our developers. You know, let's just do that. You know, is it the funny thing that um, you know, we should have done? It's a start now. I mean, you know, quality control and stuff. That's cool. You know, but like, come on now, really? To take this long to just realize that um, people won't exactly want something like this. Like, I don't know, okay? I'm just saying, alright? That's kind of that's kind of pretty, uh... Pretty interesting, to say the least. Now, yeah. Yeah. As you can tell, Nintendo's been, uh, kind of, uh... Pretty greedy, you know? And, um, yeah. You know, that would be, uh, nice if it was, um, just the only, uh, you know, reasons, but... Yeah, now I guess, uh, let's talk about the Switch here, I suppose. I guess this one's really gonna be just me talking about, like, uh, the kind of history facts or anything like that. It's gonna be just up saying, like, man. Honestly, Nintendo, like, um, has always been greedy in some way or another. Like, it's been basically a thing for the companies, in, in, for companies like, kind of, like, um, industry, but, sorry, companies' history, but... 
They uh, really haven't been trying to hide it this time, have they? It's actually funny. Like, so many Nintendo fans are just realizing now that Nintendo has been like as great as they were, and funny enough, if it wasn't for like uh, how like Blade and Nintendo has been when it comes to these shits, no one would have cared. Not really would, okay? If it was just, you know, the developers being like, um, you know, affected and no one else. I mean, I like, I think like the, the Katie is gonna be like looking at, um, you know, the newspapers around like, uh, you know, the time the NES, you know, was a thing. You know, I think the Katie is gonna care about that. He's gonna wanna play the Nintendos, you know, the Nintendo Entertainment Systems. But yeah, now I think it's uh, kind of very hard to kind of just ignore it because Nintendo's conscious crew and it's fucking, uh, you know, consumers, you know, like, there was games like $60, games that are uh, most definitely not worth you that price, and it's doing this because, well, we're on the top, so, fuck it, you know, I just do a bunch of shit, you know, and just, uh, you know, <coughs> you know, just, uh, just do that shit. You know? Let's just do that. <laughs> you know, let's just get greedy, okay? Let's just like, 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 make, like, 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 kind of, like, kind of, you know, why you're truly proud of our company. I mean, you know, it's nice to, um, you know, um, if you are uh, indebted by our idols, I mean, you know, quite like Wario, but if you're going a bit too far there, I don't know, like, I think you're getting a bit too greedy for Rukawa. Come on, man. Let it come the act, okay? I know you're Wario, alright? Stop with this fucking shit. You're Wario, I know that. So come on. Maybe like Wado, Reggie, whatever, uh, you know. Maybe Wado back from the grave, I guess. Just, um, I don't know. Stop this fucking shit. <sighs> oh, so sometimes it's kind of shit, like, it's kind of shit as well. Like, uh, like uh, maybe kind of just, like, uh, wonders how to be, like, if, um, Iwata didn't actually die. And we just, you know. I'm getting like kind of like, like uh, you know, yeah, like kind of like, just um even better things you now from Nintendo, you know. While I would exactly say that Iwata and Reggie um era was um particularly like you know the absolute most perfect thing ever, I think it just a hell of a lot better than anything Nintendo has ever done, like ever, you know. I think Iwata and Reggie were actually really cool. So seeing them kind of just you know be gone, I guess. And he was just, uh, you know, dying as well, so it was like, you'd be able to bring it back if you wanted to. Oh, that's Jacko messes all the cars, I don't know. You know? So I don't, like, uh, respect the water or something, because it's just Christ, okay? I, I think it's necessary, alright, to fucking, like, do someone to Furukawa and Dog Bowser. They were doing some shit over here, and I don't know if I really like that. Anyway, um... <clears throat> yes, Nintendo is being very greedy. They're um, kind of going to be overboard at this point, but, you know, it is funny how, even after all this, the only time that, like, people have um, realized this is now. I was realized before, you know? Like, I think it should be very clear to kind of just um, say that, yes, Nintendo's been very greedy in a lot of these um, other things, but, you know, like, it's kind of the thing. You know? It's not really not that people actually find out. Which, I guess is, uh, that's very interesting. And, uh, that's, like, uh, a very good, like, kind of way, a very interesting, um, way to see just, um, how, like, well Nintendo, like, kind of, kind of, hate this kind of motherfucking stuff. I mean, hey, good for them. But now it's, like, being, like, kind of, obviously, like, kind of, very much impossible to see this. It's blatant. Anti-consumerism, man, man. I just do not know what to feel about this. I haven't really bought a Switch yet, but it's just Christ, I, uh... I don't know, um... How it's like for the people who do own a Switch to have to basically just, um, you know, buy, like, games, like, you know, like, 60 fucking dollars like that. Every single time. If, if, if a game bombs, $60. If a game is absolute grace thing ever, $60. There is no standard, okay? And that worries me, alright? And Nintendo... Nintendo's winning, okay? 
This is the funniest shit about this. Nintendo is winning. They're winning right now. And it's like really fucked up when you think about it, yeah? I mean, one of is like the standard for um, our companies, you know? I mean, let's be over here, Nintendo's already the only Greek, Greek company around, but... If, um... I mean, honestly, like... Considering how much, like, flat key and Activision gets, which is totally deserved, by the way, you know, comments like that, you know, get, like, on a daily basis, it is funny to think about that only now are people actually like, um, realize that Nintendo has um, done this motherfucking shit when really they just done this fucking shit for so long now that it um, really isn't like surprising to say this, but yeah, Nintendo has also been greedy. But I mean, yeah, it's cool to um, know that like um, people like um, have found it out. <sighs> Let's hope that um, something comes out of this, I suppose. Because, yeah, maybe to say, I think, uh, I don't know what to really feel about the Switch era, honestly. I feel, I feel while I can tell it's been great, I really feel like it is the one time where they've been truly, like, blatant about it. Which is funny, okay? They've been, like, really blatant about this. And, like, that worries me, okay? So, um, uh, I guess to, um, send this up, do not give Nintendo your money, okay? Do not try to do this. Uh, if you have to buy your game, the games, uh, just, just do it secondhand, okay? As long as I'm doing is called in Violet, by the way, when I do manage to buy it. When I do manage to buy it's called in Violet, that's what I'm going to be doing, okay? So, uh, yeah, um, uh... Stay safe, I guess, uh, and, and please God, not uh, give uh, uh, money to, to companies that don't really deserve. Nintendo does not need the money, they're, they're really big right now, come on, please guys, God, ah! Uh, yeah, right, um, by the way, I forgot to say this too, but, um, <clears throat> um, I think it would be nice if you, um, uh, well, it might seem weird for me to say this, but, yeah, I gotta say, I think it'd be nice if you, um, you know, subscribed, you know? Why? Yeah, I mean, simply put, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of things they're gonna be doing on this channel, and I think it would just be nice if you, um, you know, were updated on everything, yeah? Like, this, um, thing that I know, for example, has already been done on this channel before, you know? And uh, it's like uh, more like casual, laid back sort of uh, like video thing. So if you are, um, you know, here after the end, then do urge you to subscribe, okay? It's gonna be very interesting. And they want a lot of things for this channel. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the goal here right now at least is to just, um, you know, get a thousand subscribers to be monetized on YouTube. But honestly, I also am trying to just, um, you know, build a big audience here, so I can only like kind of like I get paid, but also consistently too. Like, you know, I don't not really like the best situation right now. So, if um, you know, from the shit cool, hey, I mean, why not and subscribe? I found this. I also find if you don't want to subscribe as well, by the way, just saying, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying, okay? Most of uh, the focus of this, of this channel is still going to be about music, but I am going to be um, doing a lot of other things, so, yeah. If you want to see all those, subscribe, all right? I think it'd be cool, okay? All right, now, uh, that's it now. So, uh, bye.